we're going to look at limits as x goes to infinity now. So we want to remember that the line y equals k is called a horizontal asymptote. or h a horizontal asymptote of the graph as long as the y value is going to k as x is going to infinity or negative infinity. So to see a picture of what this looks like, and draw ourselves a little graph. This is a vertical asymptote. But this number here that the y value is stopping at to the left as x is going to negative infinity, as x is going far out to the left, this y value is stopping here. That's a horizontal asymptote. Um, there could be two different horizontal asymptotes, like here, this y axis or x axis where y equals zero could be another asymptote as x is going to infinity, the y value is stopping at zero. So we want to figure out what's the y value as x is going far out to the left to negative infinity or far out to the right positive infinity, which we can use the rules from algebra about locating horizontal asymptotes algebraically. So to do this, we need to compare the degree of the numerator n to the degree of the denominator d. So you have to remember, what is the degree of something? Degree is the highest power of x. So compare the highest power of x in the top and the bottom to tell you which case you have, which is going to lead you to your answer for the limit as x goes to infinity. I think this is much easier than limits algebraically where you're plugging in, factoring, and making a table. We're just going to compare the highest power of x and see what we get. So there could be three cases. One thing that could happen is the degree of the denominator could be bigger than the degree of the numerator. I'm going to call this bottom heavy, starting off with the best one bottom heavy, B goes with B, bottom heavy is the best. That means the limit as X goes to plus or minus infinity is zero, always, as long as it's bottom heavy. So for example, if I give you a little example of this, if the limit as x goes to infinity, and you have something super simple, 1 over x, the degree of the top is 0. There's no x in there. So there's no degree of the top. And then the degree of the bottom is 1. So you have x to the first power. So we have the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. This is our bottom heavy. And now if you think about this, if I give you $1, and I say, okay, this is your dollar, you can have it, but you need to split it with every single person in the United States. So not even infinity, just, you know, a couple million people even. If you take a $1 bill and split it up evenly between like, even a million people, one divided by a million, nobody's getting anything. You're gonna be left with zero. So that's the case with bottom heavy. If you have a limit as x is going to plus or minus infinity, if you have a degree in the denominator that's higher, you're dividing something small by something huge, you don't have enough to go around. Your limit is just going to be zero. The next thing that could happen, though, is maybe you compare the degrees and they're the same. This case is called equal. The limit, remember it says x goes to plus or minus infinity. You wouldn't apply this if you had the limit as x goes to 4. You wouldn't use these rules. You plug in, factor, make a table. But as long as the limit as x is going to positive or minus infinity for equal is the ratio of leading coefficients. So ratio of leading coefficient. Ratio means make a fraction of the leading coefficients of the numbers next to x to the highest power. I 
Okay, so ratio of leading coefficients, that's going to be pretty straightforward. We'll see an example below there. Our last, our worst case scenario is we compare the degree of the top and the bottom. It's not bottom heavy. They're not equal. They're not the same exact degree. Instead, it's top heavy. The degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator. This is called top heavy. This is our worst case scenario because it requires work. Top heavy. The limit as x approaches plus or minus infinity is either positive infinity or negative infinity. Only two possible answers. And you're going to divide by x to the highest power in the denominator. to find the answer. So it's either positive or negative infinity, but you actually have to do work to figure out which one it is. The reason why it's positive or negative infinity still is because you're dividing something huge by something small. So even if I came to class and I said, I just won $4 billion and I'm gonna split it with all 20 students in a classroom, we're all gonna be billionaires. We are all gonna be rich. You have something huge divided by something small. You're either still at positive infinity or negative infinity and you just need to divide by X, the highest power in the denominator to figure out which one is your answer. So let's look at some quick examples of each of these. First of all, what is the degree of the numerator in this first one? We have the limit as x goes to infinity, so we're comparing degrees, and it's just a regular x in the top, so it's the first power. And the denominator, the highest power of x, is also the first power. So is this top heavy, bottom heavy, or equal? This one's equal. So we're going to take and make a fraction out of the numbers next to x, the highest power. So in the top, we have a 27 in front of the x. So there's our numerator. And in the bottom, careful, take the sign with you, you have a negative 3. So my answer is going to be 27 divided by negative 3, which is negative 9. Pretty straightforward. Make a ratio of leading coefficients. Make a fraction out of the numbers next to x, the highest power. All right. The next one, we have 27x still. So... The degree of the numerator is still just 1, first power of x, but the degree of the denominator has an x squared, so it's 2. So this is going to be bottom heavy. Bottom heavy, b goes with b, bottom heavy is the best. The answer is always 0. We're dividing something small by something huge. We don't have enough to go around dividing the x by x squared. So we're going to be left with nothing. And then the last one here, the degree of the top, we have an x squared. So the degree of the top is 2. The highest power of x in the bottom is 1. This is our worst case scenario, top heavy. Our answer is either positive infinity or negative infinity. We need to divide all terms by x, the highest power in the denominator, to find answer. So we're going to take the limit as x goes to positive infinity still. And we're going to take that 27x squared and divide it by the highest power of x in the denominator. Well, in the denominator, the highest power of x is just a regular x. So we're going to divide by that. We're going to have negative 3x divided by x, and then we have minus 5 divided by x. Divide every single term by x to the highest power in the denominator. And we'll see what we have left over. So 27x squared divided by x is going to leave me with 27x. In the bottom, negative 3x out of x. Those x's cancel, and we're just left with negative 3. And then this last term, we have negative 5 divided by x. Negative 5 divided by x, well, x is going to infinity. It's going to be left with nothing, right? Even if I said, well, I'll give you $5 now, but split it with a million people, you'll still end up with nothing. So we're going to get rid of this because it's bottom heavy. It's just going to go to 0. So we're going to simplify what's left over, cross out what's bottom heavy because it's just going to be 0. And then we'll plug in to see is our answer positive infinity or is it negative infinity. So this limit, we have x going to infinity. So we're going to place x with infinity. We're going to have 27 times infinity. And we're going to divide it by negative 3. So 27 times infinity is still going to be infinity. That's as big as you can get. 
And then when you divide it by negative 3, it's still going to be infinity, but we're going to have a positive divided by negative. Our final answer is going to be negative infinity. So there's all three rules and an example of each. And in the next video, we're going to do some more examples so that it gets easier. Bottom heavy is the best. The answer is always zero. Equal, take the ratio of leading coefficients. And top heavy, your answer is infinity or negative infinity. Divide all terms by x to the highest power in the denominator. Cross out what's bottom heavy. Simplify what's left. And then plug in to figure out which infinity is your answer.